A question about philosophy to start? We're diving deep. I literally love that for her. Kanye West. I know damn well this man did not say Kanye West is a philosopher. <laughs> Everybody, we're watching another cut video. This is more of the button, and apparently, this is the title of this video is "One Woman Takes Over the Button." I don't know. I'm a fem. I cheer for fems. Girl boss energy always. I can't wait to see it. Let's just get into it. Are there any type of philosophers that you would say you find yourself really akin to, or that like really have influenced? You? I like her makeup. Also, uh, a question about philosophy to start. We're diving deep. I literally love that for her. Kanye West. I know damn well this man did not say Kanye West is a philosopher. Welcome to the button. Speed date. I'm surprised they didn't show us her pressing it already. I would have pressed it. May press it and swap out their date for a new person. Yeah, but we know right here a, a one femme is just going to control the game and I'm happy about it. Unless she's a bad femme. Cuz bad femmes do exist and I then I don't want it. What's your name? Alex. Alex. Like, Hi, Alex. Like, yes. Elgin, yep. nice to meet you. I like your shirt. That's tough. That's kind of weird. Okay, okay. I see her jacket's kind of fire. I like the color. He looks like a regular, regular man. He needs to take his glasses off. Let me see his face. There we go. He has a really nice smile. She ripped her butthole freshman year. So I want his face and my face are very the same. College and waited three painful months before seeing two doctors to repair it. You, you chose to live like that? Two months is crazy though. Fully regret putting that in my application. <laughs> you put it there by choice. That's hilarious. But I mean, you got in the show, oh, so God, I love it. Story. Yeah, I mean, just freshman year, eating dining hall food, afraid to like use public bathrooms, just mm. like didn't go well. And okay. Something bad happened one day and that was September. Nah, that's not a good enough story. That doesn't explain it. You said fresh, you said, Co Listen, we all know college food is mid. I, there's, there's still a lot of holes. There's still a lot of holes. Mind you, we're only one minute into this nine minute video. Let us know that he beat himself in sixth grade. There's nothing wrong with that. Listen, all it takes, all it takes. I mean, I know it's in sixth grade, so I know this is not what it takes. But all it takes is one dream that goes on a little too long. You dream about the bathroom in the dream. You go to the toilet in the dream and suddenly you pee yourself. Mind you, it says he was in the sixth grade, so I'm sure he was wide awake when he was peeing. But that's all it takes. I feel like that's not that bad. I didn't really have that much to share, so. Nothing embarrassing ever happens to you? Not particularly. I'm a pretty smooth individual, if I'm not lying to you. It, it's probably, okay. Cause I know she's gonna press the button cause I think she's calling him my shit. But I think I think what he's saying well, as a smooth individual, and I, maybe I'm giving it a pass cause again, it's Black History Month, happy Black History Month. Some people just don't get embarrassed that easy. So things that they would often find embarrassing, they're just like, yo, it kind of just happened. You know, that's life. So I'm gonna believe that that's what he's going for. Cause if not, then you full of shit. How, nothing embarrassing has ever happened to you. But I know, I, I personally know people that just don't get embarrassed. They'd be like, damn, that sucks, move on, you know? So she gonna press the button, ain't she? Yep. She, she said he was full of shit. I feel like you have to have something more embarrassing. Mm. Copy. You know? That's all it took. Mind you, he was Sorry. fine as Paul. I'm Alex. I'm Jamil. Okay, more black men. We love this. Mm -hmm. They must know it's Black History Month, and they're like, we got to get the black men in here. I like your earrings a lot. Thank you. And this was a gift from a homeless man. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Why would you take something from a homeless man? Does he not look like... The man from Hot Chili Pepper Steppers. Does he not look like Cinna from Hunger Games? Also, I paused to say, why did he take something from a homeless man? That man's already homeless. And he was like, I just want a light. And I was like, oh, got you. It's like, I, I gotta give you something. So I was like, okay, let me see. That's for me. I'll take so also, this man's not that cute to me. I would press the button. Have an age range when you're dating? Oh, God. How old are y'all? Like I don't stray too far out of my age range. I'm 25. Okay. I okay. I want to go through the phases of life with. I agree. Yeah. I'm with. Yes, Jamil. I feel like age stops mattering. Age doesn't matter once you hit like around your 30s. I feel like a lot of us have experienced the general aspects of life. There's a lot of parts of life that we don't experience. So that's why I, I don't believe that life stops at 30. We love our 30 year olds. Well, how old are you? How old are you? Um, I'm 37. Okay. But um, it's one of those things where for me- You could tell, you could tell, you could tell. Okay. 
I respect. I know I'm too old, so. <laughs> you can tell. You can tell. Why? Why is there a 37 year old on the show? I've seen people on this show be as young as like 18. Why the hell <laughs> would they put this 37 year old on here? He's destined to fail. Hello. How are you? Her look fire. I'm Jamil. Jamil. Her tits look so good. You too. Respectfully. <sighs> Thank you so much. I love how you said the tattoo and not the tits. The sun and moon that I have. Oh yeah, this is the girl who I said I like the makeup. Okay. I love astronomy. Well, what sign are you? Now I'm looking at her. I may, maybe I like the um the hair more than the makeup. Sorry. Why? Why? Like she didn't even has. I didn't even get a chance to be like, wow. I didn't even get the chance to see the vibes. I was just talking about her looks. Uh. And you can be honest. I can handle it. I would say I'm not sexually attracted to mm -hmm. you. Which is fair. Attractive? Sexually attractive, not really for me. I mean, I think that you, we can have fun sexually as well. Oh, of course. But I have fun sex, so. That's Period. It. I mean, he's also 37, cause you, so you know he done tried a lot of different things. Done. Good, how are you? X, X. I know this man is not wearing a watermelon button up. X. Good, Renard. Renard, I'm Haley. Haley? I, it's also Renard. Renard, I'm yeah. so sorry. Uh, it's like the French word for fox. Oh, so. oh do you consider nice. yourself a fox? Ew, 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 are they ta ew, disgusting. Yeah. Uh, we don't talk about that franchise. Harry Potter video game, right? Eh. Oh, is there? Yeah. Eh. Wait, did he just say he plays that game? It no. Used yes. Okay. Yeah, used to be, used to be, used to be, as in I was into it, and then we realized that the f***ing author was a piece of scum shit. I'm definitely excited for the Harry Potter video game, right? What I tell you, I knew, I knew from the minute I saw this motherfucker shirt, he knew he was gonna be on TV. He knew he was gonna be recorded. The minute I saw this man decided on purpose to wear a motherfucking watermelon shirt, that he would be absolute garbage dogs. I mean, look at him. Look at him. Look, his hairline is made by putting his hair over and cutting it a certain way. Get the fuck out of my face. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, definitely me. Ho. Get the fuck out of my face, bitch. What is your type? That is a good question. I mean, not my, not my type either. I mean, he came in with a watermelon shirt. But yeah, I'm curious. What is her type? Like a tall person. Hi. Someone tall. How tall is she? Mo. First, okay. First and foremost, I, before I say the thing I want to say, from what I see, this man's fine as f The fade up, the hair, the skin, glowing, fine as f Now, the nitty gritty. Why the hell is this man wearing a puffer jacket? And they're inside. Take the coat off. Or unbutton it, un, un, undo, un, what's the word? Zip that shit. You're super cute. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, actually, hold on. He's actually really fine. He's actually like, hold on, hold on. I, you can wear whatever the you want, baby. You actually find his. Have you seen this video? <laughs> Call me. I'm not a fan of small talk. Uh, me I'm not either. What are you doing? Oh, I'm that part, how do you know she identifies as a lady? Uh, Just kidding. Ah, <laughs> you on the spot. Oh, they're, they're vibing really well. I can't wait for her to push the button on him so I can find him on Instagram and shoot my shot. Look at his smile! Oh, oh, he's so cute. He's so invested. He's looking at his, oh my God. I'm a very passionate person. You could tell. <laughs> uh, he he is he is smitten. It's, it's so sad because she's definitely gonna press the button on this man. Definitely somebody that can't take a joke. Like. I love talking shit. <laughs> I also love I'm talking saying, shit. I do it almost every other sentence is me talking, talking shit. Talking at you or like giving you shit. We're probably not gonna. He's very invested yeah. in her. Fun fact about Haley. Okay. They're poly. Polyamorous. Love that for you. I'm definitely a monogamous type of person. Yeah. Damn. Just, it felt bad. Yeah. Just didn't like that idea. I know. I feel like we were vibing. No, <laughs> damn. 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 I do. I personally do know there are people that have are monogamous but have a polyamorous partner it really is up to you and your partner to communicate what that means for each other but some people just don't want to deal with the hassle of dating someone that just has different beliefs and i can understand that sometimes opposites just don't attract and that's okay but damn he's fine let me find this man's instagram Bye, babe. Bye. <laughs> it was gonna come out anyway come Thank on you. Oh God, how we go from a S tier to a, eh, I'll give him a D. It could be C minus, D plus C minus. His voice bothers me. Oh, she was 30? How old is he? He's saying I date older, but you're not saying how old are you? How old are you? 23. 20. All right, keep it going. I did miss it. Not my bad. I've been with 
I don't like his voice. Like, I feel like on someone else, that kind of like whisper, chill, confidence would work for me. It's not working for me. What can you talk about? I don't know, philosophical conversations. Okay. Are there any type of philosophers that you would say you find yourself really- excited? Okay, so that, so I now realize this is the scene from the cold open. Can we talk about the fact that he brought up philosophy? And so I thought she brought it up and I'm like, oh, okay, if they're talking about philosophy, then they deepen this conversation. The fact that he brought it up and gives the answer that he gives makes this scene even more fucking hilarious. Uh, Kanye West, Steve Jobs, and my father. Did you just say Kanye West? <laughs> he creates culture. He creates conversation. Damn. He changes people's minds. But and he's anti-Semitic, like, and he's- He's anti-Semitic. <laughs> Sorry, my voice broke. He's that racist, sexist. Honestly, he needs help. I know she's not give him, gonna give him enough time to say his butt, but I genuinely wanna hear what this 23 year old who likes stating smart woman has to say for his butt. But as far as, oh. Damn. Oh, baby boy, you did not stand a chance. Kanye West, I'm sorry. As far as his comments on uh -huh. like, anti-Semitic stuff, like the I like Hitler, I don't, I don't really. Sorry to interrupt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this. Um, thank nice you, Mark. Thank you, Haley. Thank you, nice to meet you too. <sighs> Kanye West really shook me off. We're gonna take a break from the men. Hello. Oh, so she's bi. Oh, thank God. <sighs> the men kind of sucked, <laughs> except for the one. Well, the two, there are two fine ass men. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Oh, this is funny. Why is this funny? We were just playing Truth or Drink in the dressing room. Ooh, Truth or Drink is another cut video. <laughs> Love that for them. And Chris just um, had a question of who would you be most sexually compatible with out of this group? And lo and behold, it was me. <laughs> oh, snips. <laughs> okay. Your training. So we have some background for this group. We love that for you. <laughs> love that for you. To, uh... to become a certified sex coach. S Listen, I don't know if y'all saw my Jubilee video where I ranked influencers as income before, but if you have, spoiler, sex workers make money. I think there's a lot of healing with sex, mm -hmm. and there's so much shame behind all of it. Why? Why? Oh, oh my heart. Oh my heart! This femme literally told you you are the sexiest person in the room. And I would definitely, you know, do you know, kind of thing. And then immediately, you think, why? Can I hug you? Oh, Is that okay? No, yeah. like, you're How, you gonna let me be vulnerable? And then just deny that's that that's some wicked shit. That's crazy. How are you gonna bring up that story? Mind you, none of us had to know that story behind the scenes of them playing true for drink. She brought it up. And now look, that's that's wicked. I, I don't know if I can cheer you on anymore. That's that mm. You reject Chris. I am not particularly sexually interested in them. Oh, hello. Okay. Hi. I'm gonna let it go. My uh my good sis here. Fire fro. Love that for her. <laughs> Why did, oh, they're so blushing I'm already. Into. I'm into people. I'm Love that. Into their energy Love them. that. Yeah, for me, I don't know. I've mostly dated men, but I She is super cute. Her curls popping. Her face adorable. She has little tiny freckles. I don't know if y'all can see them in this quality, but really, really freaking cute. Women immensely attractive. I, I'm actually more attracted to women than I am men. Same. Love that for you. Yeah, they understand you. I love her shirt too, by the way. They're on the right. Love her shirt. Question but. for you. And you do not have to answer this if you don't feel comfortable. How many sexual experiences have you had? I know this is almost like a callback to her earlier saying, you know, I don't like small talk, but there's so many other questions you could ask. Probably, I wouldn't say like six. Love. Do you two find each other attractive? Oh my God, is this it? You're stunning. <laughs> oh my God, is this it? I think you're absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> Go. That's crazy! I don't know if y'all saw it. I'm gonna rewind a little bit, but let me give some context. Look, so she reached first, and the minute she saw that she was reaching, she tried to hit it first. Oh, Even though I don't know how much there is to keep going. You found each other attractive, but you were both ready to hit the button. Yeah, what happened? I feel like I would have more fun with you as a friend. Like, Actually, like let's same. go out, same. Let's, let's vibe. Same. Just because I'm attracted to you.
sure. There's gotta be no one else after this, right? This 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 has to be the last person. Yeah. Am I going to get this person's information? Absolutely. Absolutely. This person's? I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. Maybe. Probably not. You know what? Maybe. Never say never. Like never say tequila? never. Possibly. I love that for them. <laughs> Enough tequila. Okay, I love that for y'all. <laughs> yes. We rejected men. Woman. I don't know that we have some. You're too picky. I find that controversial. You've that said already gone through everybody. Yeah, everyone's gone. Well, thank you for a lovely time. I had so much fun. Aww, I had a lovely time with you. I'm you not know normally I get mad when someone takes control over the button like this, but I don't know. This was a fun time. I'm not mad at you, Haley. I think that's her name, Haley. I'm not mad at you. You're really picky, though. I thought I was picky. You really, really picky. That's crazy. I mean, let me get this man's number real quick. <laughs> I didn't forget. I'm not gonna forget. I'm getting, I'm getting this man's Instagram.